Welcome to the e-stamping tutorial on how to stamp documents relating to sale and purchase. After logging in via SingPass, click on Stamping. Select Sale and Purchase. Input your file reference number, if any, and select the relevant description under Nature of Transaction and Document Description or Title. The check boxes under Intent of Purchase or Transfer are only applicable if the property is being held in trust for a beneficiary or if there is a subsequent conveyance direction to another person or entity. If none are applicable, please skip this section. If you have a past related stamping record, enter the document reference number to pre-fill the form details. If not, click Skip. Next, under Document Details, select Physical or Electronic for the format of your document. If you have selected Electronic, select the type of document from the drop-down list under Mode of Offer and Mode of Acceptance. Next, indicate whether your document was signed in Singapore or overseas and indicate the date of signing. If the date is unavailable, click the checkbox below. Lastly, enter the purchase price. Fill in the seller and buyer details. If available, fill in the seller's law firm's details. If there is more than one seller or buyer, click the Add button below the respective section to add more parties. Next, proceed to property or land details. Under property or land details, select property or land whichever is applicable. For property details, enter the postal code and click Retrieve to auto-populate the address. Select the share of property transferred and fill in the level and unit numbers. If there are multiple units within the same property, click on More Units to add more. Select the property type and fill in the purchase price or market value, whichever is higher. If there is more than one property, click on Property below and repeat steps 2-3. to three. If your transaction involves land, fill in the details of the land and select its master plan zoning. Next, proceed to residential property or land ownership details. Enter the total number of residential properties owned, including the current purchase. Click Determine ABSD Rate. Review the determined ABSD rate. Next, proceed to remission or relief or exemption. Next, any applicable remissions, reliefs or exemptions would be indicated here. Then, proceed to the summary. Carefully review that all information entered is correct. To make changes, click Edit next to the relevant section. Select I declare to make your declaration and click Submit to IRS to proceed to pay. On the payment page, please note down the document reference number and select your preferred payment mode. If you are paying using offline payment modes such as by check, click Proceed to Acknowledgement. Then click Continue to proceed. If your submission is successful, you will be directed to the final acknowledgement page. That's all. Thank you for watching this tutorial.